Hi, this is Courtney with PRMA Plastic Surgery. I am here with Dr. Chet Nastala, and we are going to chat with you today about dog ears. Um, so thank you so much, Dr. Nastala, for um, joining us today. So can you briefly describe to us what dog ears are? Yes, Courtney. Thank you. Good morning. Um, dog ears are a term that we use routinely in plastic surgery almost every day, but I think to the uninitiated or someone not in the medical field, they may not pick up exactly what that means. And that uh, that's because it's, it's particular to doing surgery. When we are removing um, something on the skin or a part of the, of the body, we close the wound in a linear fashion, meaning a scar is like a line. But when we're taking something off, it's in two dimensions. It might be circular or it might be oddly shaped, but we're basically taking a defect and we're trying to get it closed. Dog ears are when we close a circular or an oddly shaped area into a line and therefore there are some puffiness at the end. So I wanted to just demonstrate it to you using a surgical towel. If we take a towel and we cut out a small, uh, circle in it. I'll show you a circle. If I asked you to close this circle and you brought the two sides of the circle together, you're going to close it into a line. And I'll show you a close up of what we're doing with that. So if I bring the edges of the circle together in the center, and I'm going to demonstrate with just a couple of stitches. These are silk stitches. So if we take this area in the center, put a suture in, and tie our suture. Put one more on the right side. And we'll put one on the left. So just imagine that we've neatly closed that wound, but look what happens. By closing a circle, we've left two areas that are protruding up three-dimensionally from this one-dimensional closure. So this is what we call a dog ear. And are there steps that surgeons take to prevent dog ears or correct them? So in order to not to have this dog ear from the very start, one might remove a circular area, as I said, either on the face or arm or on the abdomen, in an ellipse. So if we remove it in an ellipse or an oval, we might have less of a dog ear. So I'm gonna demonstrate that to you Instead of a circle, I've taken out an ellipse. So now it looks like that. So you might imagine that we have less of a dog ear. And again, I'll show you with a couple of quick sutures. Now you might imagine that this Defect could represent a skin tumor, but it could even represent a visualization of a deep flap because a deep flap in a sense is elliptical. So by tapering the edges of our closure, we can minimize this dog ear or also bring it in slightly, but we're still gonna have one. 
So in a sense, when we take a circular or elliptical defect, always going to have a bit of a dog ear. Unless we trim it out. But of course, if we trim it out, then we're going to make the incision longer. And I'll demonstrate that after I show you the defect here. There we go. So I made this closure just like the last time, but you notice that the dog ears are smaller. There's my closure. So another step to take would be at the time of primary closure, and I'll show you again my demonstration. I'm just going to trim out that little dog ear, close it up, and it's essentially flat. So one of the reasons we may not want to take time to do that at the original surgery is it's going to carry the incision a little further. So we want to define the end of our incision and, and uh, end it there. Very nice. Very nice. And during breast reconstruction for patients who have specifically had the deep flap, do you guys try to minimize the dog ear at stage one, or is that something that you address in stage two? Uh, yes, we do try to minimize it. We can eliminate it completely, but the way we minimize it is by tapering in the closure on the end to bring that dog ear as flat as possible. Wonderful. All right. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Nastala, for taking the time to chat with us today. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and we will answer those as soon as we can.